Is the Moon Swatch worth the money? I'm gonna go through all the pros and all the cons. And at the end, I'm gonna give you my verdict. On the 26th of March 2022, Swatch and Omega collaborated and brought out the Moon Swatch. The Moon Swatch were 11 colored chronograph watches produced by Swatch, but inspired by, of course, the Omega Speedmaster. And this meant that you were able to buy a watch with the name Omega for less than $300. The Moon Swatch cost absolute carnage across the entire world, with queues outside of every Swatch store in the world, queues that offer often took 12 hours at least. A absolute genius move by the Swatch Group. To be fair, the Swatch Group is a very, if not the most important player in the watch industry today. They're the largest manufacturer or the largest conglomerate in the watch world today. The Swatch Group owns brands indeed. Omega, Swatch, of course, it's the Swatch Group. They own Longines, Breguet. They even own the oldest watch brand in the world, Blancpain. They own Hamilton, they own Rado, they own Mido. They own so many incredible watch brands. So the Swatch Group is very powerful. I would even argue to say that the Swatch Group made fashion watches what they are today. Swatch was founded in 1983 and their first collection was based out of 11 or 12 different models, which all were very colorful, which all were Swiss made, which all were quartz. This at the time was quite controversial because the quartz movement single-handedly destroyed 40% of the Swiss watchmakers during the quartz crisis from the early 70s to the late 80s. And now Swatch came out and brought out cheap Swiss movements, which they could mass produce. Swatch was born and changed the fashion watch world forever. They made Swiss watches cool, affordable, colorful. They made them fashionable. Swatch was always innovating in a time of crisis. Where everyone went right, Swatch went left. And this is what we've seen on the 26th of March 2022 again. The first time we've ever seen an expensive or a luxury watch brand collaborating with a cheap fashion brand. The Moon Swatch was born. 11 models were launched, all based on the Omega Speedmaster. Mission to the Sun, Mission to Mercury, Mission to Venus, Mission on Earth, Mission to the Moon, Mission to Mars, Mission to Jupiter, Mission to Saturn, Mission to Neptune, Mission to Pluto, last but not least, Mission to Uranus. I am currently wearing the Mission to Jupiter. Which one's your favorite? I like that Tiffany blue color. Which one is that? That's Uranus. Oh, I love Uranus. How much does Uranus cost? For you, I'll ask a premium of $100. You know what? I'm actually gonna give this away at the end of the video, so stay tuned and I'm not finished yet. When this watch was launched, there was a big launch event. And to be honest, it was a bit awkward because I don't think that Swatch nor Omega was prepared for the storm that was heading their way. And in that, I mean the extreme publicity. The company of the size of Swatch Group with over 37,000 people working for them were not prepared well enough to launch this product. This is the thing about the watch industry and the watch world in general. I think that the watch world is miles behind other industries. Like for example, the car industry. The watch industry is not very much known as being innovating or being extremely strong in their marketing. When they hit a home run, they didn't know how to deal with it. That on its own was a shock, but let me tell you a few things I really like and that are actually quite smart from a business perspective. Because I actually really like the Moon Swatch, but the question is, is the Moon Swatch actually worth it? What the Swatch Group has achieved with introducing the Moon Swatch, not a single other watch brand has done that before. The only real hype we've seen in the past was, of course, the Apple Watch, but it wasn't as extreme as the launch of the Moon Swatch because the Apple Watch was completely expected to be launched, where the Moon Swatch was a complete surprise. And I must say, it was a genius move. What the Swatch Group achieved was bizarre. Omega was in the news again. Swatch was in the news again again. Everyone was talking about the Moon Swatch. The Moon Swatch was going for a premium. If you wanted a Moon Swatch, you had to literally pay three or four times the recommended retail price to get your hands on it. And still today, certain Moon Swatches are going for a premium. That's insane. We have not seen that in the fashion watch world before. This didn't even happen with the Apple Watch. This was extreme. A lot of good has come from it because not just everyone in the industry was talking about the Moon Swatch. So many people outside of the watch industry talked about the Moon Swatch. People that would have never considered of buying a watch all of a sudden got drawn into this hype of the Moon Swatch. And there they were in a queue in front of a Swatch boutique buying 
a moon swatch. That was absolutely brilliant. Keep in mind, because us content creators or business people or people in the industry, all we want is to create more risk to put more watches on. The watch industry is my passion. Watches is what I love so, so much. So all I want is to share my passion with the audience, with you guys. And that hopefully creates more watch collectors or more people that want to wear really cool watches. Keep in mind, a watch doesn't have to be expensive to be cool. I would celebrate what Swatch has done because it single-handedly created more wrists, more people, more enthusiasts, more collectors than any other brand has ever done overnight. There's a few things I find very clever on this watch, including the Omega logo that is exactly at sight. When I wear this watch or when someone else wears this watch, you're constantly confronted with the Omega logo, but you didn't pay Omega money. That is clever for the future. The Moon Swatch is considered extremely cool with every walk of life. If you're a starter collector, if you're a young kid, if you're a millionaire, if you're middle class, it's accepted and it's considered cool within every walk of life. There's not many watches that do that other than of course the god tier casio every time i'm wearing this watch i am being confronted with omega i am actually wearing an Omega, but not pay Omega money, but it is an Omega design. So if I wear this watch for a year or two years, or maybe three years, if it actually will survive, which I highly doubt, it still confronts me with the logo, with the name Omega. And that is a clever marketing move. They have put their brand on more than a million people's wrists. I salute Omega and the Swatch Group for that. That was clever marketing. However, there's also a downside on this success because in the beginning when this was launched, we actually heard noises of Speedmaster collectors complaining about the Moon Swatch. That only lasted for a couple of weeks until they realized this is not a Speedmaster. This is a Moon Swatch, a Swatch, because it is such an identical design. The case is identical, not the materials, of course, but the shape and the size. Let's put the story time away. Let's put all the positive sides away. Let's look at this really fucking black and white. Did you notice that was my first swear word? Well done. At your service. What do we actually have here? What is the Moon Swatch? And is it actually worth $260? I don't want to dwell on bioceramic or fancy words. What I'm currently holding is just simply a watch made out of plastic with a very plasticky, dingy, horrible strap with a watch that is designed and looks like a Speedmaster, which is one of the most important watches in the world. But it feels like it's a toy. And maybe it only costs $10 to make. Swatches are not expensive watches, don't get me wrong. You can get a swatch for about $50. And there's nothing wrong with that. I love it. I love the swatch. I love swatch watches in general. But do I love a swatch that costs $260? What makes this watch so extremely expensive in comparison to other swatch models that cost $50 to $60? I absolutely love the collaboration. I think it's absolutely genius in every way possible. And I think it should be the standard for luxury watch brands in the future. This is finally forward thinking. I don't remember a luxury watch brand that actually does a collaboration or have done a collaboration with a cheaper watch brand like Swatch. You would argue to say that it's quite easy because Swatch owns Omega, but it's a bit more complicated than that because we also have a brand to protect, in this case, Omega. I am actually wondering if they made this watch deliberately from shit quality because I have heard people after wearing the watch Watch for a week that the pushers fell off, that the crown broke, that a piece of the case broke, that the glass broke. This is within a week of wearing the watch. Keep in mind, this is not a cheap watch. This is $260 and you can buy incredible watches for $260. Did Omega actually force Swatch to make this watch extremely fragile? That's a question that I have. Of course, when you make a cheaper version of your most important watch, you want to make sure that you protect the current owners of this watch and you protect this watch in general. This Omega Omega Speedmaster will last you a lifetime. This Moon Swatch, you're lucky if this watch is gonna last you two years at tops. So I have a decision to make. Do I think that the Moon Swatch is worth it? No, I don't think the Moon Swatch is worth the money at all. Not even in the slightest. I think it's a really cool watch. I would argue to say that this was the highlight of 2022 for me. I think it's really cool. I wish that luxury watch brand would collaborate with other cheaper watch brands. I would actually argue to say that if AP does a collaboration with Casio, it would actually help AP massively for the future because all of a sudden there's a younger generation now that has the name AP on their wrist. Do I think it will outsell the Moon Swatch? 
Yes. Do I think it would help the future of AP? Yes. Do I think everyone that buys a collaboration watch between Casio and AP will in the future buy an AP? No. What is the percentage that would move over to AP? I think it's 5%, but a 5% of a million is more than 5% of 20,000 watches that they produce now. I'm gonna give this watch away to one of you guys on Patreon, and I'm gonna do this as a recurring theme. Go to the Patreon now, and I wanna say a big thank you to all my supporters on YouTube and on Patreon. I wanna see more of this in the future. Do I think the Moon's watch is worth it? No. Do I like it? I absolutely love it.